Hi, I'm Neil Donovan. I'm the Executive Director of the National Coalition for the Homeless. Thanks for watching this video. I wanted to take a couple of minutes today to talk to you about a new campaign that we are launching and uh, a few decisions that we've made. Today is March 5th, so uh, this is a fairly typical day here at the, at the Coalition. We've been uh, working on membership services during the morning and in the afternoon uh, we'll be heading over to the Hill working with uh, Representative Bernice Johnson on hate crimes for the homeless legislation and then working with Mr. Conyers later this afternoon on universal access to workforce. Um, so let's talk about the campaign. The campaign is called Crisis Hidden in Plain View and what it attempts to do is really draw a very clear picture about the rising tide of homelessness in this country. I think you've heard a lot of political speak about uh, the reduced roles of veterans on the street, uh, family homelessness having made uh, some significant reductions. But the truth is that overall homelessness is on the rise and the pie of opportunity and funding is remaining the same if not smaller. So decisions need to be made and I wanted to talk to you about one of the decisions that the coalition has made. As the federal government workforce gets smaller, uh, a lot of their duties and responsibilities are being farmed out to uh, consultants and advocacy organizations, in particular around the issue of technical assistance. So the coalition has been approached to see if we wanted to uh, join with other national advocacy organizations in providing technical assistance. But it comes at a cost, and I think the cost is that we can't pay full attention to advocacy. We can't protect the role as uh, being unique and able to push back, uh, providing a check and balance to both philanthropy and the federal government. And I think that role is very, very important and needs to be preserved. So the coalition is relying on you today to support that decision. Support that decision not only in spirit, but also financially as well. So we would ask you to go to our website, nch.org, and to look at some of the work that we've done. And if it agrees with what you believe we should be doing, we would ask for your financial support and also to become a member of NCH. Thanks, and we'll talk soon.